How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So today what we are going to be doing is finishing to build our bone meal farm. The only thing that I'm missing is to have this little light to let me know when the bone meal chest is completely full and that way I know it's time to empty it so none of it goes to waste. So I realized in the last episode what I did was I ended up making two farmers just because I didn't want them to sink with the block. Um, but I realized that was a mistake because what should actually happen is I'm going to take away this one block and I want him to sync up with that composter that I put down there. Because if not, it's just going to keep syncing with the with the future villagers I put in here. So this is going to cause some problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave him just like this. And now the next time I have a villager, there's not going to be any issues whatsoever. So um, I have two brewing stands for those uh, villagers that trade you with redstone and I also wanted to put a whole bunch more of the of the iron ones because I have a lot of iron and it's time for me to start trading it so now that I have completely filled up the first floor of this place except for one unit I think it's time that I start on the second floor so I think what I'll do is I'll put the two redstone ones here so what I have to do is be very careful because I don't want the water to come in. So actually it needs to come up like this. And let's see, do I have a lot of rails on me? No, they're still in this chest over here. So where's it? in the second chest? Yeah. And I needed also the levers. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, let's see, I'm going to put two of them up here. So that means I need to break this one and put them up like this. Yeah, just like that. So these are going to be the two. Um, I forget what they're called, but it's the ones that um, the ones that trade you redstone when you put down the brewing stand. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this. I'm going to break this one. OK, this is this is not going to work so well. OK, so I need a better I need a better rail system up here. So I think what I should do is have it come up like this, and then I could divert it around. Oops, let's keep that closed. Okay, yeah, this works a lot better. So it's going to be like this. Okay, and it's going to come up just like that. All right, perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to fill up the second layer with more villagers. So I'm going to just close this off like this. And I'm going to place down the rest of the rails just like that. And I'll deal with the levers when I'm done. So I'm going to put nine of them in here. So what I need for that, actually this one should break first. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, perfect. So let's make sure that my mine cards are all completely updated. No. I'm, I'm missing five more. So let's just go grab some iron from right over here. Perfect. We still got a ton. And we're going to make five more minecarts. Let's see. How many can I make here? Twelve. No, it's too many. Six, five. Just like that. I'm going to put them away. Okay. Now I needed that bread. So if I'm going to make nine times three is 27, just like this. All right. Perfect. So let's get this party started. And what I should do now is I should start making these other uh, job blocks. So I think the cheapest one is the grindstone, actually. So there's the blast furnace. But I think the grindstone is the cheapest in terms of material. Um, let's see. Plank sticks and a slab. Which uh, What was the other one? The smithing table. What does it take to make one of those? Let's see. Smithing table. Oh, this one's the easiest for sure. It's just planks and iron. So I'm going to make seven of those. So I have some... Do I still have my iron me? Yep. And do I have planks? I do have planks on me. So that's fine. So what I'm going to do is... 
four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven smithing tables. Perfect. And what I should do is go get the uh, the brewing stands. Okay. I need to be careful here because I feel like, yeah, there's going to be an issue. Um, with with the with the rails, I feel like they're going to fall back into the system. Yeah, you see, just like this. I got to make sure I place them properly first. So that's one. Perfect. Now we can just update this. I kind of got to jump over them. Leapfrog. Let's go. Number two. Perfect. Now I could break this. Break this one. Okay. The other one's a little shy to come, but that's okay. Yeah, there he is. Okay, perfect. And now that I have these three dealt with in the corner, it's going to be a lot easier to... The other ones are going to come in automatically. So you see, just like this. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is put them just like that. Oh, but he doesn't have enough force to get up here. No. Thank God. So I need like, I need powered rails up here, actually. That one needs to go like that. Did I bring any powered rails here? I feel like I may have had them at one point, but I kind of maybe took them out. Yeah, because they don't have enough power to go up there. Well, that's fine. So in any case, let's just go get those two brewing stands. So we'll be ready for them. Um, so I have one over here. Did I make any potions? No, I just had some regular water bottles. Oops. I didn't mean to break that completely. Let's see. Put this back. Put this back. And... I know I had some more brewing stands because I remember I ended up collecting them from the villages that I ended up running from. Oh, I have five brewing stands. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to leave one down there then. Perfect. So maybe I can make more of them just to get a whole lot more redstone. Where does it go? It goes right here. Yeah, there we go. And you see the water bottles automatically fill up. Oh, but I broke the blaze powder, which kind of sucks. Okay, that's fine. I still have another one. Okay, very good. So is this chest getting filled up? Yeah, this paper chest, uh, this needs to be dealt with soon. But uh, let's see how this farm is going over here. Okay. Yeah, we still got some, uh, still got some in there. And is any more come in? No, I don't think so. Okay, so I think I need to switch it over to daytime. Give me a second. So what I'm going to do now is I've cleaned out my inventory so I can carry all the sugarcane over to the farm. And I think I'm going to just start trading the paper with uh, the librarian villagers. That way... Oh, and it looks like... Okay, you see, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Let's just push them up. Okay, let's see. Okay, so he goes over there. This one needs to get broken. And now we'll be able to push them all up. Let's see. Yep. And keep going. Keep going. Okay, perfect. Oh, but now I have no space to put uh, <laughs> the minecarts. That's fine. Let's just turn this all into paper. And I'm just going to trade this with the uh, librarian villagers. Let's see. Can I clear up my inventory a little bit? Yeah, let me put these away just so I can collect these minecarts. Because I need them. So, hold on a second. Put these ones away. Alright, let me trade this paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the bamboo that I get into sticks. So that way I can get rid of the sticks as well by just trading with some of these. Alright, so I ended up getting 50 emeralds, which is pretty good. And I got rid of like all my paper. They actually ate it up really quickly. But look how many emeralds I have. This is crazy right now. All right, so what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to put this stuff away like that. Okay, perfect. So is there going to be any more children that need to come out? I think so because I still have two minecarts over here. But if you're excited that I'm adding finally a second row of villagers to my villager farm, which means that we're almost over halfway there, you know what you got to do? You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it.
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give these children a chance to grow up, and I'll see you in a second. All right, so now that they're all grown up, you can see over here that we actually got two nitwits. And I can't believe that so many of these villagers don't feel like working anymore. So you know what? I think it's just really unfortunate that they had to die of natural causes. Where are you going? <laughs> Yeah, just gonna keep them in there like that. Yeah, that's very unfortunate, but not much you could do with that, right? Okay, so let's put these torches back in here. Okay, so we have uh, five brewing stands to put down. So I'll put the first one down here. Let's see who becomes the cleric. All right, so it's gonna be this one right over here. And I also traded a bit more iron and um, some of the paper or emeralds so i have quite a bit now okay so i need to, he's a little bit too close so i need to push him back okay perfect so let me trade to get that redstone right away i think i think a stack of emeralds will be enough let's go nice all right who becomes the next cleric is it going to be now uh, they all need to be pushed a little bit so i gotta put these things back is it gonna be you no, was it him? No, it was that one over there. I saw the green particles. Okay, so I'm gonna break this over here, put this down. Perfect, get that redstone. All right, now the next one is gonna be you. Yep, keep it going. And the last one right over here. And I should, I should be able to trade with him without Oh, no, because the hitbox is kind of in the way. Uh, that's unfortunate. What if I... I think I ha what I have to do is I have to put the brewing stand up top like this. No, then I still can't... Do I have to break the cart? Yeah, then I have access to them from below. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to put the cart... I'm going to have to put the brewing stand on top. Just like this. Oh, no, I think I may have broke it. Wait a second. Let me break this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, put this down. Okay, perfect. So that syncs up to him. I can take this back. We'll do the same thing over here. Okay. Break this. Break that. And last but not least, this one right over here. Okay. All right, perfect. So now we finally got some redstone so that we can um, keep building our, or at least finish building our bone meal farm. So what I want to do in the meantime is just put a little bit more bread inside of it so I can get the next round of villagers in here. Uh, I think I'll do five. So three times five is 15. That should be good. I'll give this just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here now that I have a ton of redstone. All right, so we have the comparator. And how are we going to do this? I need to get it all the way up there. So I'm going to go, I think I'm just going to go around like this for now. And if I want, I might have to clean it up a little bit later. Ooh, but actually, all this redstone is in the way for the, uh, for the hopper. So, okay. You know what I'm going to have to do? Give me a second. And done. So what I ended up doing was just going out a little bit into the cave over here. And then I ran a redstone line into a redstone torch, which goes into another redstone torch to keep this thing off. So when this thing is full, this comparator is going to output a full signal, which will let me turn on the light and let me know that everything is completely done. So I think this is a great place to end this video. So if you liked it, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. Have an awesome day. Toaster out.